when Bertie um, our border collie first came to us from eight weeks old um, after he had all of his injections we was able to take him out for his first walks and this was his first harness he ever had it's a real cheap one um, he didn't have much strength so it cost me 5 99 so I didn't really worry about the price as you can see it's a velcro here it wouldn't be suitable for him because obviously as he as he grew up he's turning into quite a strong little dog <laughs> um, and he just grew out of it it probably lasted oh about two months max i would have thought but as you can see he just have to pull this here and it came off i did buy another harness just a tiny bit bigger than this a k9 harness but i didn't realize when i bought it all the front was all velcro and it just hooks over the the body so i've scrapped that one completely once we moved out the small harness, um, I was at Pets at Home and I needed to buy him another harness and I saw these Kong harnesses. Now, because Kong has quite a good reputation, I didn't think I'd actually have any issues with it. So I purchased this, but I soon realised, even though it fitted around his body okay, this is a no-pull harness. You have the clip that goes underneath the body here and the clip at the top and also the handle. But as he was wearing it, this didn't fit around the front of his body properly because his head goes through here. And this would just come out to the sides and it rubbed him. And I also found it, it was quite awkward to adjust. Um, you have to pull it through here and spread it out more. You have to even it all out. But what I did find, I'm not sure if it's because he was a strong dog, but I've, I've stopped using this harness this would keep pulling in and the harness was getting bigger and bigger and each morning and especially around the body i was having to adjust the harness so you see it clips on here but this here was just pulling out so easily that he could actually pull out the harness so it wasn't safe for him at all so i decided to scrap this harness and buy another one this one cost me about 25 pounds so by now, I've already spent, with the other harness, I've spent over £30 on different harnesses for him. So actually it was more than that, because I had the K9 harness, which cost me £15. So yeah, harnesses so far have cost me a lot of money. <laughs> the next harness I purchased was a True Love harness, and this is my favourite. It's It's got all the pad in here. As you can see, it's had a lot of use. It's very, very dirty. He's actually just grown out of this now. This is a um, medium size. And he had this up to when he was six months old. It's a no-pull harness again. So you've got the hook underneath for the double-ended lead, train lead, and the hook up here. As you can see, it's got sturdy grip. And there is, it just won't move. Whereas if you do a comparison between these two harnesses, this is, you can see the difference of how, how quick, how easy they move. And this just doesn't move at all. It's solid. And you can see there's quite a difference with the width here as well. This has also got a holder, so you can hold your dog like that. But I've actually upgraded to the next size up now because I've scrapped the um, Kong harness. And I would recommend this True Love harness to anybody because it is just absolutely sturdy. It doesn't get loose over a period of time. And it really, it fits around the body of the dog better. But obviously that's going to depend on the breed of your dog. I mean, for Bertie, who's a Border Collie, it seats him down to a T. Um, he doesn't pull out of it. I don't really use the no pull harness on it because for me and Bertie it didn't work <clears throat> I found that he would still pull and the pulling got horrendous so I've ended up having to buy a halty lead for that but that's another story because we've tried several of them as well um this one costs me 19.99 this is as I said this is a medium and I've also now upgraded and I've got a blue one this time because my son told me a purple harness for a male dog is not right and he hated walking it with him. <laughs> so I paid for the next one, which he's now wearing now. And that was $24.99. And it was on Prime and it came with the following day. So it's a really quick delivery system. I'm not sure if you can buy elsewhere, but I got it, like I said, I got it from Amazon. But this one I recommend. And it's, it's just really sturdy compared to this. I mean, obviously underneath the body there, 
there is a difference with the body size, as you can see here. But I just, I just didn't like it. It's, this is padded, but I just didn't like the harness. I, I thought I, this is just going to go in the bin, to be honest, because it's just a waste of money. But I always recommend this true, true love harness for you, if especially if you've got a border collie. Because we've had major, major issues with Bertie pulling on his harness, and as I said, the no-pull harness didn't work for him, we, we went to a dog trainer, and she recommended a figure eight lead. Um, so I brought this, and as you can see, the figure eight lead, it slips through here. If you, I purchased this from Amazon, it cost me £21. I don't actually recommend it, because it tightens up too, too much. I will be showing you another lead another halty lead to wear well for the dog to wear actually um but you have to watch it if you do want a figure eight lead you have to watch it because a lot of the pictures they will just cross over show the pictures and it'd be just crossed over like that so you need to make sure it fed thread, threads through okay <clears throat> now the figure eight lead you can get one that goes on the top a round lead or you can get a left hand walk lead or a right hand walk lead so that depends on where your dog's actually walking so you put this over the dog's head and then that goes over the nose. And then once it's around the, the neck of the dog, obviously you don't do it too tight, you bring this down here and that slips and that will, that will keep it secure. But you, you don't do it too tight. It's got to have some give otherwise you'll strangle your dog. One thing I have noticed with this and why, I mean, other people may actually get on with it, but I didn't. I, I've decided to go and get a Halty um, face face lead because Bertie was getting very stressed out with this and he, he didn't like wearing it all. We found that as he was walking and he was pulling so much still, he it was getting tighter and tighter around his nose and it, was still, it wasn't loosening up here, which it should be. Once the dog relaxes and walks beside you, it should... This, this stack should come into play and it wasn't and it was like he was actually being choked so I was having to keep stop walking and keep releasing it and that's with like having quite a bit of give here so for me personally this didn't walk didn't work at all so I had to look for another another halty lead um yeah and this like I said this one cost me 20 21 pound there is a link below because if you do find that you get on with it then obviously buy it but I do recommend the, the Holties. Bertie's seen a squirrel. No, squirrels. Because okay, two things. squirrels. He's not pulling. As you can see, he's got the new harness, eight fit, figure eight harness on. Bertie, uh, sit. Sit. You won't. Kill. The Holty lead I purchased, it's a size four. I got this one. Um, you have to the way you know whether or not it's suitable for your dog. You have to measure round their neck, and then look at the chart, and it will tell you what size to buy. I can't show you the the actual lead itself at the moment because he's staying with his nan, and he's he's got it there in case my mum takes him out for a walk. But it's so easy to pull on, and it it releases. So what you'll do is you put your dog's nose through the main part, and then clip it round the neck. You've got a lead section here that clips onto your collar. And then you have another little ring here, which you will attach your trainer lead to. And Bertie's been using this now since Monday. And he's he's happier. He's, he still doesn't like wearing a halty. But he's, he's a lot happier walking and he's walking to heel a lot better now. So I do recommend this one. But like I said, they come in different sizes. And you do need to make sure you get the right size because your dog needs to be able to open their mouth. If you've brought the wrong size and they're tight around the mouth, then you need to get a big size. Or obviously if it's too big, you need to. The only thing I will say with this is the front, front pull section. So you do need to be careful sometimes. I've noticed if Bertie's really pulling and the way you hold the lead, it will come up against it. It will twist, twist around sometimes and it will try to cover his eye. So you just need to be aware of that, but that's not happened the last two days. When he first started wearing it, it did, but it's that's actually stopped now. But this head collar is the one that I do recommend. This cost me 13 49 from Amazon, and um, it was next day delivery. So again, 
I could get rid of the blue collar and use blue whole tea and use this one straight away. If you look in the description, the link for this, where we purchased it from, will will go there. So if you click on it, we will get a few um, pennies for it, but we just want to make sure that you get the right product. And ideally, you don't go for this one. So you go for this one instead. So this is a collie dog trying to remove his, is it the halty one, Mum? Halter. <laughs> the halter. Yeah. Walk. Walk. Here. That's on the lead. I'm not quite sure how that got on his, sorry, on his collar. I don't know. It's probably something Nick's done, but I'm not quite sure why. This was Bertie's first collar. I purchased it from Pets at Home. Um, as you can see, it's a very small collar, but he's actually moved up to a bigger size collar, which is the same as this, but obviously just wider. And now, now what I've actually done, I went to a dog trainer so once the restrictions got listed and she lifted. She recommended that he needed a wider collar. His collar at the moment is probably about that wide. So what I've actually done is I've gone out and purchased a new collar. This is a tiny bit too big for him, so I've got to wait for him to grow a bit more. So he's still in his other red collar. But as you can see, it's quite wide. The one thing the dog trainer did stay, stay to me is his collar was laying too low on his neck. The collar should actually be over his fur and nearer his ears which I wasn't aware of, and we've had dogs since, oh, we were about nine or 10 years old, we've had dogs, and I've, nev I've never known that, so that was something I knew, that I learnt new. This I purchased from Brett Pets at Home. I have to admit, it was the cheapest one I could find, because by now I'd spent quite a lot on leads and harnesses, and I was probably getting on to about 50, 60 quid, trying to find something that suited Bertie, and that's with going to Pets at Home, and also Amazon and the other online on um online sites as well but yeah this is a, a right collar it's really good it's sturdy it's got a good clip but like i said it's a bit too big for bertie at the moment trainer did say to me the reason why you have the collar sitting up nearer the ears is because it's not not around the base of their neck it allows you to have control of their head as well but also so it's not putting a strain on their vocal cords. Because obviously if you've got a dog pulling and that's the front of his neck, it's going to be like that and it, it will hurt, it will damage their throat. Obviously when you, you get a little puppy, you realise it's going to be teething and it's going to nip a lot. But it's probably my fault. I didn't realise with Border Collies how much they chewed and nipped you with their teething. I mean, we're still going through it a bit, but it's not as bad. But we called Bercy the land shark, um, the ankle muncher, and a few other names as well, which I can't obviously mention on here. But originally, I had Bertie when we was in the car on the back seat. And like I've done with um, our previous dogs, I got the... He was wearing his harness, and I would clip this to his harness... And that would go into your seatbelt holder, where your seatbelt plugs in for security. Obviously adjusted depending on the size of the dog. But I soon realised, I also got a cover for my car. But I soon realised with his chewing, he actually decided to chew through the harness itself, the, the seatbelt harness. So I had to scrap that. The, these you could buy off Amazon for about three to four pounds and you could buy two. So if you've got a dog that isn't teething and doesn't love to chew, then this is a cheap way to secure your dog. The link will be below for these for you. The next one I purchased, as you can see, it's solid. It is. It's a beaut. This cost me $7.99. And he hasn't chewed this. You can adjust as the other ones. You can make it smaller or larger, whatever you want. That goes into seatbelt and that clips onto your harness. 
Obviously, if you're going to have a dog in the back of the car, you don't clip anything onto their collar, just their collar. Because obviously, you've got to think, if there's an accident, it's going to, it could potentially break their neck. And you need something. So ideally, that needs to clip onto the harness. Let's bring this here. So you would clip it onto here, on your dog. Obviously. No, sorry. On here, on your dog. So you just got to make sure it's really secure. So it clips like that, and then that goes in your seat belt, and you adjust. But this, it's this cost me eight pounds, but it is absolutely brilliant. But unfortunately for us, Bertie still continued his chewing, and I began became quite concerned about him starting to chew in my car seats. <laughs> And also what happened because he was chewing and he thought being in the back of the car was a game. I couldn't have a passenger sitting in the car with him. So eventually he will go back to using this on the back seat. But I've actually had to put a, um, ca a cage in the back boot of my car. So he's barred from coming into the main part of the car and he sits in the boot. 